So guys, I've just made it to the to the monastery and it is roughly a 20 minutes drive outside of uh, Mandalay city and um, this is a very interesting factor this uh, this place was built in 1910 so it's very very old also it sits on 20 acres of land so it is one of, so it is the second biggest monastery in Myanmar it's not just a monastery it is also an education center for people that want to come and learn about the Buddhist religion and the second factor is um, this place you get 2,000 monks a day situated on this road where I'm standing right now on this road over here and they have a parade over here so you have 2,000 monks around here and you get to see them eat their food every single day from 10.30 I think to 11 o'clock so on this road itself you have 2,000 monks situated on this road and another interesting factor is you get to see them eat and um, you get to also understand more about the, the religion, the Buddhism religion. So a lot of people, I've heard mixed stories, but you get stories of kids when they're young, they're orphans, their parents don't have a lot of money, they've been forced to come here from when they're young. I have no idea, but it's, it's very interesting. There is no entrance fee to come to this place. It is totally free. You're allowed to film and you're allowed to take pictures of the monks, but you just the certain restricted areas that you can't enter. So um, what I want to do, I want to get the footage of the monks around here. And also the second factor is I really want to speak, speak to a monk and understand more about the religion. So it's totally free. You just have to get a grab or a taxi to come over here. So I want to capture the moment of when they're walking on the parade over here and also later I want to enter one of these buildings I want to enter one of these buildings and actually uh, see what it's like how they live as a monk and understand more about the religion so fingers crossed we're gonna we're gonna capture something special there is it is a bit of a tourist trap there is a lot of people over here but it's it's gonna be interesting so I want to walk around and also I want to discover what it's like around here so yeah fingers crossed See located inside here. These are where the monks are having their food, they're having their, bu their breakfast. And over there, that's where the kitchen is, where they're cooking the food. I can't really go inside there, there is no access allowed to go inside. And footage is restricted in certain parts of this monastery, but this is where they're preparing the food. And you guys can see over here. So the females are here. Washing, washing the plates as you can see and this, the section over here you've got the monks prepping the food so they can have their breakfast so it's, uh, it's very interesting but you're not allowed to talk uh, you're not allowed to actually film I had no idea but you're restricted to film in certain parts around here and um, I think some of the monks are leaving because they've already finished their breakfast so it's, um, it's very interesting they don't really speak to you. Silent treatment, very, very silent treatment. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna flip the camera so you guys can see the monks over here actually walking past and they finish the food. So um, 
overall, it is a good experience. It's a shame that you can't really speak to the monks. But um, yeah, in terms of respect and understanding the religion, it's cool. I thought you can go inside the building, but you're not allowed to go inside the building for religious purposes. But it's, um, it's very interesting. It's free, you don't pay nothing anyway. But uh, yeah. So let me just flip the camera so we can just get a glimpse. There is a lot of tourists around here. And there is um, all the monks are departing. As you see there's a monk over there. Some of them are camera shy. Or they don't want to be on camera. So everyone is leaving the building over here. Where they have the breakfast. And people are having breakfast over here. So it's... Uh, yeah. Over here, these are one of the houses that you can see where the monks stay. It's uh, forbidden to walk inside the houses, I have no idea. But the signs of treatment that these people show, it's very interesting. It's, uh, it's silence, no one speaks. Even when you try to interview one, even when you try to interview one, hello, nobody speaks. So it's like, uh, it's hard to speak to one and uh, it's, it's also hard to speak to one so you can get some information about the religion but like it's very very interesting and um, I don't know I just want to understand more about the religion but nobody wants to talk to you so it's, uh, it's cool so let me just flip the camera around that is like one house over here okay over here where all the monks stay and they're just walking past me. It's like I'm an alien, but it's, uh, it's very interesting. I'm not going to go inside in terms of respect. That's another house where they're staying over here. So we're going to walk around and do a U-turn. Hello. That's another house over here probably where they stay as well. So um, it's interesting. They smile at you, they say hello, but no one really... Nobody really yeah. interacts with you, no one even um, speaks to you, they just they just stare at you. But anyway, it is what it is. There's so many dogs around here, I've never seen so many dogs in Myanmar. You have a dog here, a dog here, a dog there. So there's like so many dogs around here, but um, in terms of like the aspect of what it's like, I think it's worth coming here. It is a bit of a show does look like a bit of a show in terms of like everyone is like walking in a line but it's very interesting so um i still want to find a monk that i can speak to that's not going to be shy in camera fingers crossed i can find one that's not going to be shy so yeah so this is where they cook their food and you prep everything Everything here. So this is where they're prepping the food. That's a good food. So he's got the onions over here. Hello. And uh, so over there cooking. So you got a couple monks over here prepping food. Uh, one monk said I can come in here, but I can't get his face. So in terms of respect, oh, they got rice. So you can see. How they're cooking all the rice in here. Fresh rice. And the rice is coming from this thing over here. So he's using a shovel. Very interesting. I think he's cleaning it with a white. I have no idea what that is. That looks like some type of veg. So this is where they're prepping the food for the monks actually. I apologize. The footage that I was showing before. And um, it's very interesting to see the back of house of the kitchen. I've worked in many kitchens before. But yo, look at the size of that, that's massive. So it's uh, very, very interesting. Uh, one thing I've realized, a lot of these monks have mobile phones. That's very, uh, that's very weird for a monk to have a mobile phone. But uh, some of the monks I see, they have phones. I thought they're not allowed to have phones, but that's, uh, that's another interesting factor. So, uh, yeah, this is the kitchen. My guide is over there, but he he doesn't really want to be on camera. There's somewhere behind me over here. Hello. What is this? Cucumber. So he has the cucumber over here. 
he's cutting the onions. So he's cutting the onions, but yeah, that's a, that's a glimpse of the lifestyle. Anyway, guys, um, I think that was it for my tour around here. So um, that was it for my tour around here. Um, overall, it was a good experience. It was a shame that you can't speak to the monks on camera. But anyway, take care. And it's uh, Man Like Black Man. Watch out for the next video. So yeah, ciao.